Good uh, morning, my viewers. Our church is really closed because I think around a few weeks ago, when we had our first uh, corona case, then we were told that uh, church buildings and schools and public gatherings were out of our band. So our discussion today is, and us as Christians, I think this is mo most uh, pertinent for Christians, were churches really closed? Join me in this discussion. <music> My name is Samuel Fuo, and we have been having this discussion for a number of weeks. And when, I don't know whether it was yesterday or the day before, it really dawned on me that we really misunderstood the directives by the government. So let me, let me recap where we are with this corona case. So this is our week what? Week five? Week four or five? Since we had our first case of the coronavirus. Uh, we are into around 300 infections so far, around 10 or 11 fatalities, and uh, a number of people are recovering, so we thank God for that. But our discussion for today is not about, about the recoveries or, or about the infections, it's about our faith, because the essential services was supposed to continue. So we ask ourselves, when you look at the church, is the church an essential service? According to me, and maybe other Christians out there, the answer is yes, churches are essential. So were they closed? I personally don't think they were closed. I don't want to give a sermon here, but allow me to put two verses in the Bible. One of it is, I think, Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25, where, where you are being told about how a man should love the wife. And if I were to put it as it is, is that the man is supposed to love the wife as Christ loved the church. Now, when, when I've read that verse a number of times, and it never, it never clicked that way. But join me in this thinking. Remember Jesus Christ was a Jew. So when we were told that Christ loved the church, you, you would expect if they were talking about the church building, then they would have said that as Christ loved the synagogue, because that's where the Jews go. But Christ loved the church. And to cut the whole sermon short, the church is, is your heart. God resides in your heart. And if he resides in your heart, if Christ resides in your heart, then you still now come back to that same question, were churches closed? And I still maintain, no, they were not. Because look at it like this. If this card was to continue, God forbid, maybe around six months or even a year, you never know. We are not in control of this. Does it mean that you'll never worship? Does it mean that you can never go to church? Uh, no, you cannot praise, you cannot pray just because the church building has been closed or just because your pastor is not there to tell you that now this is our time to, to pray, go to your safe place and no, you cannot say so. So in my understanding, the churches were never closed. In fact, if you want to see a church that is functioning, come to my home. And you see us having our church services every day. Because that's what God intends of us. That our churches will never get closed. The church buildings can be closed. But not the church itself. Nobody can stop the church. <laughs> I almost said nobody can stop praying. Nobody can stop the church. So wherever you are, if you are a Christian, note that the government never banned churches. All they did is closed our places of gathering. Now, of course, I'm not oblivious to the point that still the, 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 the same Bible tells us in Hebrews chapter 10, I think, I think 25, says that uh, we should never neglect the meetings 
and I like that word neglect most of the most of the Bible versions use that word neglect neglect the meeting of of or the congregation of people but the good thing is are we neglecting no we are not so when mind me saying this when maybe a pastor can come and complain why the church building has been closed because the church is an essential service I feel we are becoming oblivious to the point that we are not neglecting. Actually, the laws of the land, I remember Christ talking of uh, give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what belongs to God. And Caesar told us to stay at home. Caesar told us to close the church buildings. And so we have to listen to him because his authority comes from above. And if we disobey that, then we are not becoming good Christians. So yes, we obey that the church building will be closed, but remember, in your homes, or wherever you are, you need to continue with the services. Continue that. Remember, the family is the SI unit, if I may put it like that, of our Christian faith. And my bishop, Bishop Kimani of Deliverance Church Zimmerman, always says that our church is a cell-based church. So meaning the cell starts from the family. So if this cell will be strong enough, then the church building will never be shaken. So allow me to finish my discussion there and ask the Christians to now even stand even more. It's not our time to say that because the church, because the church buildings have been closed, then we cannot pray. You need to pray even more, pray for our country, pray for the world, pray for the fellow Christians, pray even for those who are suffering. Remember the suffering is not just those who are in hospital. Even those who are at home and do not have something to take, do not have something to eat, they need our support. Not just the prayers, but even financially. Support where you can. Talk to those who you can so that even mentally we are sound. And I believe we will be building one another. So I didn't intend this video to be that long, but there you have it. God bless you. Cheers.